Well, hello friends, thanks for joining me today. Let's go ahead and look at how to install a latch doorknob in your door. Okay friends, so I have a schlag or schleggy, however you want to pronounce it. I usually pronounced it schlag. Um, and it is a hall and closet, which means it's not a locking doorknob. The ones that lock, it'll have just a, uh, a different little lock set mechanism in it. Not that much different though. So we are gonna install this hall and closet on this door, this just this door frame mock-up that we have just so students can install doorknobs and have that knowledge for themselves. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead, safety first, and make sure you have the right tools. It says all you really need is a screwdriver. What I like to have though is a screwdriver, a utility knife, and I also like my impact just to drive some of these screws in um, more efficiently. So we'll go ahead and unbox this. Okay, so we have our mechanism here that when we turn the handles, the latch goes in. You want to make sure that the angled part goes toward the frame. So we're going to switch this around. Just like so. So that way it will move in and out and it's going to close this way and latch on that. So here we have the directions. We have our parts and pieces, our screws that we need. Alright friends, so here we have our hardware that we'll need. And then we have our directions. Just kidding. You actually want these. So, when you open this up, your door may not have a hole right here. If it does not have a hole, they give you a guide in order to drill that hole correctly, where in relation to the edge of the door, that hole should be located. So don't just throw these away, make sure you save them so you can use this template in order to drill that hole successfully in the right spot, if you need to. This one does not have uh, a problem with that. It already has a hole, but some doors that you buy don't have a hole here, so that way you, if you need the uh, hinges on this side and a hole on that side, you could switch it around. We don't need that, so we are going to put these aside for now. Open up our door. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take apart our latch. We're gonna get our barrel, which I call this the barrel. Make sure this goes in here and we don't have to chisel any out. Sometimes you don't have this piece uh, taken out. You don't have it mortised out any. So you have to put this in mark around where it goes and then you need to um, cut it with your utility knife and then chisel that out so it fits in there flush just like that this one's good it's already done you need to make sure you look in here you have different thicknesses or different widths of setbacks so this can be here or it can move over a little bit the way you can do that is you just move this mechanism. There's a mechanism here you can slide it over in order to move it to the other setback. Ours doesn't need that. We're going to slide it right in here. Then we're going to take our screws that are provided for us in our little screw bag. We'll set these aside for now. And we have a couple different types of screws here. We have this coarse thread. And 
and we have this fine thread That's a longer screw. Now these, the fine threads, are what join the latch together. So we're gonna set those aside for now, and we're gonna get two screws that are meant to go right in here and hold this mechanism in. Now, another thing you wanna look for, sometimes on exterior doors or on a deadbolt, it'll say top. You'll turn around and say top say top so that goes up this one does not have that so you can just put it in however just make sure that the angle goes towards the door frame this is where I like you can do this with a screwdriver like I said I like my impact because it goes faster Make sure that your mechanism works. And we're going to take our knob. And you want to have the, uh, on these it really doesn't matter that much. So if this is getting shut this way, typically if this is an exterior door, that would be the exterior. So you would want the no screws to the exterior. And you'd want the part that has the screws in there to be towards the interior. So someone couldn't just come along and take a screwdriver and take your whole mechanism apart. So now we're gonna get those machine screws And this is where you really need a screwdriver because with an impact, this doesn't work near as well. So I like my handy dandy screwdriver here that has multiple tips in it. You're gonna fasten that there. You don't want it over tight. You don't want to smash it to where the thing has a hard time turning. But you also don't want it loose. You just want it snug. Take my other machine screw. No. then make sure the operation works make sure the door works if you turn it and it doesn't want to come back you've probably tightened it up too much and you need to let a little bit of that pressure off ours is good here I'm just gonna make sure they're both snug at about the same poundage so that one's not weak and the other one's tight okay so now we're good now we're only halfway done because we have to put on the strike plate where the door, where this will go into the door, like that, over here on the frame. So now we'll switch over sides. All right, so here we have our spot right here that's already had some sort of latch in it before. If your door does not, if this is just flat, what you need to do is close the door, take a pencil, and where that latch goes, just make little marks so you know where that latch is gonna go. Then you can take your strike plate, position it to where it's gonna line up there, mark out where it needs to fit in there, and then you need to chisel that out. Here we don't have that, we don't have that issue, so ours just needs to be screwed in right here. 
Now here's where I differ from the directions. The directions gives me the directions gives me these two little screws here, which is fine. And for us on this passage lock, not a big deal at all. We'll just put these in there, screw these in. But if I have an exterior door, what I'll do is instead of these little screws, I'll take a three inch screw, some three inch torques and put them in here. That way I'm into the framing. That way it gives you more security, just a little bit more bite on something that's more solid than just the door frame. So we'll go ahead and we'll st install these. And it looks to me like we need to take just a little bit more out to get this flush here. We have just a little bit of a jump here and we want that flush. So I'm gonna mark it with my knife And it's just a tiny bit. If you don't have a sharp knife, you might have to use a chisel. Test it. There, it's fitting a lot better. Nice and flush now. So now we'll get our screws. So now we're pretty much done, but we want to make sure that we test it. We don't ever want to leave something without testing it and making sure, making sure that it closes successfully and easily every time. There we go. It shuts. It shuts kind of hard because there's nothing to hold this door. It's just a setup frame, but once it shuts, it stays shut and then we and open it. All right, friends, so now you can go ahead and take out the current door handle you have in a room or whatnot if you want a different color or if you have a, a doorknob that has a different key in it and the key no longer works, you can get a new updated one. Make sure you work hard when you're doing this because hard work is its own reward. Thanks for watching.